All right, so here it is. I'm finally making a video about the results of my capstone project. Uh, sorry it's taken so long. I've had several people ask me like when I'm going to make this video. I've been busy actually doing my capstone project, so I haven't had time to make a video about it. So, yeah, now that it's done and over with, I figured I'd make a quick video just so that people who have been watching and like following along could see what it is and i figured i'd just show you all the chrome dinosaur game just like for continuity because that's what i started my last video with but also just so you can see like what my source material that i was drawing from for my game was just so you can make that connection and yeah it's it's been a good time but yeah so to recap i made this game that you can see right here in python and the point of my study was I was going to examine whether using a machine learning model to optimize a game would yield a higher user experience score than using like personal feelings, like personally optimizing a game. So yeah, I built this game. I think my last video, I focused mostly on just like what I did. So this will be more on the testing side. So here you can actually see the testing process that I followed in my <laughs> test that I conducted with my video game. Basically, I set up my computer, my laptop, in the student union at student union at my college campus, and then I would approach potential participants, which was basically any college student there. Uh, and asked them if they wanted to play my game as part of a research study. Honestly, this was one of the hardest parts of the whole study, just because I don't like initiating conversation. It's just hard for me for whatever reason. The next step then was I would present the participant with the informed consent, basically outlining what the study is, what I'm doing, not it didn't tell them which version of the game they were going to be playing because it was supposed to be a blind trial. So participants would just know they're playing a form of the game. It might be optimized by machine learning model or it might be optimized by me. And yeah, then I would tell them, hey, you can play as much or as little of the game as you want. Just tell me your score. Oh, but... I would also have them fill up, I would fill out the demographic questionnaire for my study, basically saying, hey, what level of college are you in? Are you male or female age? And then how much gaming experience they have. And basically that was it. And yeah, I would tell them after the end of like when they're done playing, I'd be like, hey, cool. Thanks for playing. If you have any questions, you can track me down and ask me those questions. None of them did. Also, none of them refused to consent to participate in my study just because it's the Midwest and that would kind of be a little bit rude. More on that later. All right, so here you can see the group statistics for the data that I collected. There was a 15-15 split between the groups because there was 30 people. I wanted it to be even, so 15 people for each group. There was a difference in the mean UX score with the machine learning optimized version having a slightly lower mean score. and But yeah, having a larger standard deviation, meaning it had a lower score, but the scores were spread out, so it had higher scores than the personally optimized version, but it also had lower scores than the personally optimized version. So it was more spread out, which led to, yeah. So it covers more area, which is just absolutely great. And then to see if that difference was due to a real difference in outcome or whether it was just the natural variance of the statistics, I performed an independent sample t-test to, you know, yeah, figure that out. So if we look at the graph in the first part, the first value that says sig, that is the p-value for an, uh, 
test of the equality of variance that basically tells us if the variance of the two groups are equal because the value is greater than 0.05 i was working with a 95 percent confidence interval since it's greater than 0 0.05 we know that the variances of the data are equal and so we accept the hypothesis that the variances are equal so then we can use the top line which says that we assume that there's equal variances and yeah i know this is really boring but it's all it's kind of interesting so then we can go over to the significance two-tailed which is our p-value for our study and it is 0.438 that is well over 0.05 meaning that it is very solidly no statistically significant difference in the data and that's a little bit disappointing so i decided to look at a graph of the mean ux over the different gaming experience groups as you can see at the start for the daily and for the seldom slash none the machine learning optimized version had a higher ux score but then it had lower slash the same in the middle which was interesting but again there there wasn't much of a difference and and it looks like there's a difference in the middle specifically with weekly and occasionally so i decided to you know do a fun little pairwise comparison of those which i will scroll to any second now i think yeah so then if you look at the pairwise comparisons you'll see again sadly all the significance values which i'm trying to wave my mouse next to it's a sig value all of those are greater than 0 0.05 meaning that there's no statistically significant difference between the two groups at any gaming experience level which is a little bit disappointing but it's a result and it's the result of my study so now you're probably asking yourself like what does this all mean what does it mean that there's no statistically significant difference between the UX scores of the machine learning optimized version of the game and the personally optimized version of the game? Basically, it means that using a machine learning model to optimize a video game is neither better nor worse. I was hoping that using machine learning to optimize a video game would produce better results and make the game more fun. And maybe it would have if people had known, maybe that would have like tweaked their bias a little bit or yeah, but I didn't want to bias to be tweaked. I wanted to see if it actually would produce a better game. So yeah, basically takeaways from this is that if you do have a machine learning model that's already been trained how to do this, use it because machine learning models are much more efficient and fast. They can do things in mere seconds. So if you have a model that's been trained to optimize a video game, use it because it will do something in seconds that would take weeks for a person to do. Um, but this is not necessarily, just because this was the result of my study doesn't mean that this is representative of reality. Because one, I am a amateur at machine learning. So my machine learning model probably was not well optimized on its own it was probably not a good <laughs> machine learning model and um another factor and i alluded to this earlier is the fact that this study took place at a christian university in the midwest and i was standing over participant shoulders asking them for a score i don't know if you know much about the midwest but if you're asking someone to rate something of yours they're going to be compelled by a sense of politeness to not not be as harsh as they normally would and this has been seen in other research studies in this demographic so there's a possibility that that was playing a factor towards people giving like all fives and sixes on a seven point liquor scale so that is a factor also there's a factor that i use a very simple game and so it's possible that like there really is no difference that could be made in an endless runner type game so since there couldn't be a difference made no difference was made 
So perhaps if I used a more complex game in the future, if I did a future study as kind of a sequel to this study, maybe that would do better. But who knows? Basically, that's the results of my study, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I'm planning to produce videos much, much quicker and more frequently now that my college semester is uh, ending. It'll end in about a week. And yeah, it also, if you want to put a like, comment on this video, that helps me a lot. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would extremely appreciate it. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.